Before Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 was launched, Samsung dominated the market with its Watch Active 2 lineup and had the second largest wearable market share in 2020 to 2021. And according to CounterPoint research, with the launch of Watch 4, Samsung has registered a massive 46% year-over-year -year growth. So how much the Watch 4 differs from the Watch Active 2? And is it any better? Today I'll answer all your questions in this Watch Active 2 vs Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 video. Let's start with the build and looks of both the watches. The case of the Watch Active 2 is made of 316L stainless steel and Watch 4 is made up of an aluminium frame that makes the watch lightweight. The previous generation Watch Active 2 weighs 42 grams and Watch 4 is 30 grams. So Watch 4 definitely feels lighter on the hand. The stock strap is pretty good on the Watch Active 2 but it is significantly better on the Watch 4. Firstly, the material is very good on the Watch 4 strap and it feels comfortable on the skin. It is also very easy to put on and off. Another thing that I loved about the Watch 4 is the bracelet-like curved design of the strap. This gives the watch good shape on your wrist and you can see it looks better on the hand. I also dig the flat screen design of the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. Curved designs are just too ordinary on smartwatches these days. Some users like them but I prefer this one more. Both the watches feature Gorilla Glass for protection and DX Plus coating for better visibility. The watch also has a military grade build which here means resistance to shock, temperature and resistance to heat. It means that outdoor sports like swimming and running won't be an issue for the watch. As you can see the watch active 2 here which is more than 1 year old has no scratches on the screen. Same as the case with watch 4, there are no scratches on the watch face here either. With build quality out of the way, let's talk about the OS and quite frankly OS is the USB with the watch 4. Previous gen Samsung smartwatches were powered by Tizen operating system which is made by Samsung. With Galaxy Watch 4, Samsung has now switched to the Wear OS. The One UI on the Watch 4 seems to be promoting using your finger to use the watch instead of the bezel. Watch Active 2 seems to be more bezel centric from its round menu screen to the big settings option. I personally found Samsung Watch 4 to be more user friendly than the Watch Active 2. Your opinion might differ. Still, I would say that Samsung has gotten out of its way to make the Watch 4 as familiar as possible. You would still need good old Galaxy Wearable and Samsung Health app to connect the watch and the settings menu in both the watches is more and less the same. Samsung has also brought down some of its latest watch faces from Watch 4 to Watch Active 2 and if you are a fan of the old watch faces then those are available for Watch 4 too. The biggest benefit of Wear OS is the access to the Play Store. On the Galaxy Watch 4 you would be able to use Google Assistant. It is a big deal as Bixby is little good now but it just fails in comparison to Google Assistant. You can even install Gboard on the Watch 4 which is way better than the stock T9 keyboard. These are just some of the apps you can install on the Watch 4. Galaxy Watch Active 2 is pretty good in the app department as well but Wear OS is going to surpass it and it has already. You can find all your favorite apps on the Play Store along with support for new apps like YouTube Music as well. I have made a video on all the apps that all the Watch 4 owners should install on their watch. Check it out using the i button. Talking about the specs, both the watches feature a Super AMOLED display. However, the resolution of the Watch Active 2 is lower than that of the Watch 4. Still, I would say that the readability on both the watches is pretty good. One big area where Watch 4 features significant improvement is the processor. Previous Gen Watch Active 2 was powered by a dual core Exynos 9110 10nm CPU, whereas Watch 4 is powered by a dual core 5nm Exynos W920. For non-techie people out there, what it basically means is latest gen processor is more efficient. The smaller the nanometer size of a CPU, better it is for daily use. Watch 4 does perform pretty well in day-to-day -day usage but it fails in the battery department. More on that later. Found that there was no lag while using both the watches whatsoever. However, I would say that after a reboot, Watch 4 does lag a bit for 20-30 to 30 seconds. The performance of the speaker and microphone is pretty similar for both the watches. Good for indoor use, outdoor not so much. Moving on to the health and fitness tracking, I would say that the Watch 4 has some big improvements and lackluster performance in the same areas as the Watch Active 2. You can watch my Watch 4 and Active 2 reviews for more details. But to explain it quickly, Watch Active 2 didn't have blood oxygen monitoring, Watch 4 has it. And out of all the watches I have reviewed in this price segment, Samsung Watch series consistently perform worse or average when it comes to sleep tracking. However, the next generation bioactive sensor Watch 4 is pretty good in other departments. I found the heart rate and blood oxygen reading on it to be perfect. To be honest, it was already pretty good in the previous gen Watch Active 2. 
वॉच फोर डस्ट फीचर एंड ऑल न्यू बायो इलेक्ट्रिकल इम्पिडेंस एनालिसिस सेंसर इट कैन टेल यू बॉडी फैट डी एम आई बॉडी वाटर एंड मोड कमिंग टू द स्पोर्ट्स ट्रैकिंग द सैमसंग गैलेक्सी वॉच फोर कम्स विद नाइनटी प्लस बिल्टिंग स्पोर्ट्स प्रोफाइल्स कम्पेयर टू द फोर्टी प्लस स्पोर्ट्स प्रोफाइल्स ऑन वॉच एक्टिव टू सो यू गेट सिग्निफिकेंट अपग्रेड्स इन द स्पोर्ट्स ट्रैकिंग डिपार्टमेंट आई डोंट सी एनी मेजर डिफरेंस इन पॉपुलर प्रोफाइल्स लाइक रनिंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ एक्यूरेसी ऑफ फीचर्स बिटवीन द वॉचेज वन एरिया वेर वॉच फोर परफॉर्म्स वर्स दैन द वॉच एक्टिव टू इज द बैटरी लाइफ एक्टिव टू लास्टेड मी वन पॉइंट फाइव टू टू डेज विद मोस्ट फीचर्स इनेबल्ड वेर एज वॉच फोर नीड्स टू बी चार्ज एवरी मॉर्निंग ड्यूरिंग माई टेस्टिंग वॉच फोर गेव मी ट्वेंटी एट टू थर्टी आवर्स ऑफ स्क्रीन ऑन टाइम एंड द फैक्ट दैट द वॉच टेक्स ऑलमोस्ट टू आवर्स टू चार्ज फ्रॉम जीरो इज एंड आइडियल ईदर अपेरेंटली सैमसंग गैलेक्सी वॉच फाइव विल कम विद फास्ट चार्जिंग टू सॉल्व दिस इशू दैट साउंड लाइक अ ग्रेट सोल्यूशन टू द बैटरी प्रॉब्लम ऑफ द वॉच फोर Despite all the battery related issues if i have to recommend a watch then i would recommend going with Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 it's a pretty good upgrade to the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2 be it build looks os or specs battery life is the only department where you will have to compromise a little so what are your thoughts on this do you think watch 4 is a worthy successor to watch active 2 tell me in the comment box down below i'll be reading and replying to all of them Don't forget to subscribe and help me get to the 1000 subscriber mark. Press that like button if you like the video. See you next time.